of 1916, thousands of Irish soldiers from the 36th Ulster and 16th Irish Divisions were wounded and killed as they fought against the German army in northern France. From late 1914, British and French armies had faced the German Empire across an area known as the Western Front, a defensive line of trenches, barbed wire and fortresses running across northern France and Belgium. The Battle of the Somme was initially meant to be a joint offensive between the Allied French and British forces. Most of the French army, however, had become heavily occupied at the Battle of Verdun and could no longer commit the same level of resources. The 36th Ulster Division, a largely unionist group, including members of the Ulster Volunteer Force, was part of Britain's new volunteer army. It was one of 25 British Army divisions who would take part in the opening days of the Somme Offensive. Ahead of the attack, an artillery barrage was planned to destroy the well-prepared trenches and barbed wire of the German defences. The barrage, however, failed to completely destroy German fortifications. The consequences for those going over the top would be horrific. 7.30 a.m. on July the 1st was zero hour, the moment for a massed infantry attack on the Somme to begin. Ulster Division soldiers prepared to attack the enemy on either side of the River Ancre, with the most difficult objective being the fortress known as the Schwaben Redoubt. Just before zero hour, the bombardment stopped and the Allied forces rose from their trenches and advanced across no man's land. Men from the Ulster Division made it to the German trenches by 7.35 a.m. By 9 a.m., areas known as the Schwaben Redoubt and the Crucifix were captured. German forces in the ruins of nearby Thiepval were well entrenched and their machine gun fire continued throughout the day. Despite the successes registered by some of the Ulster Division, British forces across the battlefield were finding it much tougher to take ground. The air was full of hissing, burning metal and screams. Many men sheltered in shell holes. Some were blown to pieces, others pushed on. Four of the nine Victoria Cross winners on July the 1st were soldiers of the Ulster Division. By July the 3rd, over 5,000 men were dead, wounded or taken prisoner. The Battle of the Somme would play out over the coming months, including attacks at the villages of Guillemont and Ginchy in September 1916. In the new Northern Ireland state, founded in 1921, Commemoration of the 36th Ulster Division's bravery and losses at the Somme became an important feature of the Unionist calendar. The 16th Division's campaign was mostly forgotten. The Easter Rebellion of 1916 assumed a much greater significance for nationalists. These are the reconstructed trenches of the 36th Ulster Division as they would have been on the first day of the Battle of Somme, 1916. They've been reconstructed by archaeologists as a result of the digs that they've conducted right here. The front line, this is the front line. The Germans were up there. This is one of the most strongly defended parts of the German front line. Uh, so this was 
a brutal, brutal target at the Battle of Somme. The German trenches were out there, the woods, this is the same woodland would have been here as it was in uh, July 1916, uh, before much of the wood was destroyed during the Battle of the Somme. The Germans were out in the, the fields beyond. Four lines of defensive trenches and, and the Schwaben was out, the absolutely infamous, incredibly strong machine gun, uh, series of machine gun nests that was the Schwaben out. The Ulster Division here, uh, perhaps about 8,000 men went over the front line on, at morning, uh, just after 7 o'clock in the morning on the 1st of July 1916. Now I say 7 o'clock deliberately because they went over half an hour before everyone else. The Ulstermen adopted very unusual tactics here. They went with light loads, they crawled out along these saps. These are called saps, these are trenches here that go forward into no man's land. They crawled out, they had very good support from French artillery that managed to destroy quite a lot of the barbed wire, and they hunched in no man's land, waiting for the British bombardment to finish, only 20 yards or so from the German frontline trenches, so that when the British bombardment finished at 7.30 in the morning, they jumped up and they surged forward. They didn't march forward in long lines like they did everywhere else on the Somme. They crashed forward the Ulster charge, and they did manage to penetrate deep into German defences. Sadly, what followed was tragedy. The British artillery didn't realise how well they'd done, uh, and the and the Ulstermen were shelled by their own British artillery. They were they were deep in German trenches. That meant they were surrounded on three sides by the Germans. And through the day and later that night, they were counterattacked. They were annihilated by machine gun fire, and nearly everyone who penetrated that deeply was killed or wounded. Five thousand five hundred Ulstermen killed or wounded in around twenty four hours. M more than half, a lot more than half of those who went in over this line of trenches on the 1st of July 1916. It's, it's, a, it's a moment that has, of Northern Irish history that is extremely famous uh, in, in Northern Ireland with, with people there to this day. Uh, and it's a day that will live in infamy in the history of Northern Ireland.